Hey, welcome to a special episode of a the special edition. Gallery. Yeah. A special it's, edition. That's our first public service announcement. Yeah, post election. Post election. Post election. Now post. let's let's start out by saying What do we say? <laughs> well we recognize that absolutely nothing has changed. <laughs> and everybody had the opportunity to voice their opinion on the subject matter. All right. So we woke up and it was the day after the election. And the big thing in our region right now is tomorrow. Tomorrow, the vaccine certificates kick in. And that's what we want to talk a little bit about. Yes, we do. Um, I just downloaded mine. uh, And you can go to the Ontario uh, website. uh, And they have a link for you to be able to enter your information to get your proof of vaccination certificate. Um, and you need to download that. You can take a picture of it to keep it on your phone if you have a phone. And if you don't, you can uh, go to your member of parliament. You can go to Jeff Urich's office, and he has offered to print them off for you uh, if you don't have access to that sort of uh, technology yep. so that you can have your paper copy uh, when entering a business that requires proof of vaccination. Right. So a couple things we'd say. The one is uh, actually take some time to read through. There's a lot of places you can still go without a vaccine. Um, there's a, they've, over the month, they've developed it much more. Um, but what we want to talk about is we know in Elmer specifically, cause that's where we live. So we know this community. Um, there are a lot of people who are really stressed about this on both sides. Um, I've spent some time with business owners over the last couple of weeks. We've talked about it and I've listened and, and they're terrified because for them, they've been put in a lose, lose situation Yeah, for the past We're, 18 months. Yeah. They have struggled just to be able to maintain a business that doesn't collapse underneath the weight of pandemic restrictions. Right. And now what they're being asked to do is decide what, what, portion of the population they're going to make happy with the decision that right. they're going to make in terms of following the government protocols uh, and, and, and actually checking to make sure people have their vaccination certificate with them. And either way, they're in a lose-lose. Right. Uh, and it's a terrible situation for, for businesses to have to be put into. We recognize that. It's a very difficult right. spot because uh, these business owners are the fabric of our community. Right. And they have faced you know, the front lines of people's frustration. Every time there was a there was you know limits and capacities and all that, um, they were the ones being yelled at. They were the ones being you know think about restaurants in our community. They've been yelled at whether you're serving, you shouldn't be serving that group or you should be serving that group. Whatever they do, somebody's mad. Yeah, and Joe's teenager who's just working a job to try to be able to afford university yeah. is taking the brunt of some adult's frustration right. over a situation that's outside of that person's control. And we feel justified to vent our anger onto somebody who can do nothing about what is happening. Right. So, a lot of people as of tomorrow are going to be frustrated with this, both vaccinated and vaccinated. People are very opinionated on this. Um, what, what our push and what we'd like, would hope in our community, in Elmer Malahide, is that we can control the things that we control. So, if you're against this, go to the right people. Email Jeff Yurick, email Doug Ford, email whoever you feel in Parliament you need to get a hold of. Let them know. And let them know often. Send, I don't care. Send them 10 emails a day. Let them know. That's how we voice our opinion. To take it out on our local businesses is just incredibly unfair. And we're already hearing this. I'm, I'm talking to businesses and they're saying, you know, people are calling them. And if they don't have the right answer to the vaccine question, people are saying, well, I'm not going to shop there anymore. I'm not going to go to your place. That, that's so unfair. These businesses are just desperately trying to stay open. They are trying to make an income. And we as adults, the thing that we can control is how we respond to this. If we close a restaurant in town or we close a small business because we're frustrated, that still isn't going to change the legislation. All that does, it hurts our community. So tomorrow, whichever side we're on, I think we need to rally together as a community. And so if you're not vaccinated and you don't want to be vaccinated, find a way to still support the local small businesses that are desperately trying to make a living. Harming those businesses is not furthering your cause. Um, If you're vaccinated, don't. We get this us versus them. It don't. Can can we just together as a community go, we we want COVID to end. I want to get out of this as bad as you do. Hating each other, being divided, tearing other people down helps nothing. Anger and hatred is not the solution to making community better. No. It never is. It never will be. And we have to take a deep breath and stop hating each other. Right. We have to stop it. And the only person that I can control to stop hating and stop being angry is myself. Right. And I have to start 
with myself, and then I have to encourage and inspire other people around me to, to lead, to lead by love, to lead by caring and compassion, and to try to help every person around me to have the best life possible. Right. And, and that's what we need to focus on, not on who is 100% in agreement with us, because from what we learned in, in discussing with all the different candidates that came onto the podcast is that we have a lot more in common Right. than what any media outlet leads you to believe about who we are as Canadians. Yep. And, and I think we need to remember that. Yep. Uh, community is about being together and taking care of one another, even if you don't always agree. And, and I think we need to be careful how we act on our emotions and our feelings about what is coming. Yep. And yeah. espe- especially, and we'll say this on a personal level, to those of you guys who are followers of Jesus, to those of you guys who are saying we're Christians, we need to be leading with love. Yeah. We need to be the ones who are the most compassionate, the most kind, the most generous, the most, all of the things that make community better. We are supposed to be the ones leading in that. And so we need to take that challenge seriously. That our community in a time of need knows that when Christians show up, there's going to be peace. When Christians show up, there's going to be kindness um, and gratefulness. I think it's important to remember the the fight that Jesus fought for freedom was fought on the ground of sacrifice. Right. And, I, and I think if we just stop and take a deep breath and remember the kingdom that he was fighting for is different than the one that we see people fighting for today. Right. Uh, and uh, we, we have to love. Right. Uh, this anger and this hatred, it's, it's too destructive. Uh, and let's remember, every person out there in that community is also a creation of God. And and if you're directing hatred towards someone that God made, you're actually directing hatred towards God. Uh, So let's be careful of uh, of what's coming out of our lips. Let's be careful of how our actions are are, are coming forth. Uh, And and let's remember that we need to be community together. And it's all easier said than done. Yeah. In this little room, we can, but let's make our best effort tomorrow to wake up and give grace to each other, give kindness and then together as a community, we're going to come through. And, and my hope is sooner than later. But to all you businesses, hey, we're rallying for you. Yeah. To all you guys working out there trying to make Elmer better, we're rallying for you. For those of you that have fears and concerns, uh, we understand and we hear you. Yeah. Uh, we, we share those. Uh, we share those with you and your families and, and what future looks like. Uh, we, want, we want to say that as well. Uh, we get that. Uh, and uh, we're, we're striving and hoping and emailing and talking right. and having conversations about how we can all make this better and to get to the other side of it. Right. Well, that ends our first public service announcement. And uh, if yeah. you have uh, if you have any <laughs> <laughs> comments, don't you can send them over to <laughs> <A-berg at gmail.com. laughs> All right. Hey, we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>